Hello everyone, welcome to Get It Like It's Hot, Get It Like It's Hot, Get It While It's Hot, number 12. Today you will need an ab roller or a skateboard, long ways, okay? You will also need light, medium, heavy dumbbells. You can always combine dumbbells to make them heavier. You'll also need paper plates, sliders, and your circular bands or your TheraBand. So we're gonna start with some center core. We're gonna start with your ab roller or your skateboard going long ways, okay? My mom's gonna do it from the side so you can see her. In a modified plank position, we're just gonna shift the hands forward and then shift the hands back. Ready, three, ready, two, and let's go, guys. Just the hands shift forward, just the hands shift back. Good. So you want to take your ab roller or your skateboard going long ways. You just shift the hands forward and then shift the hands back. You can see that you want to keep a straight long line from your head all the way to your knees. Keep a little tuck of the tailbone so there's no archy, dippy low back, right? Just the hand shift forward, just the hand shift back. We're going to do some intervals with this. So in 30 seconds, you're just going to push the ab roller or the skateboard out of your way. You're going to be in a high plank position. We're going to go into a pike to plank with your sliders or your plates. We'll be there for 30 seconds on the hands, and then we'll do the same thing 30 seconds on the elbows, okay? We're there in eight. Good, good, nice. In seven, good guys. In six, we go pike to plank with your sliders. In four, on your hands and toes to start. In three, two, one. Let's go. So grab your slider. Hands can be on a mat or on the carpet, whatever works for you. It's a pike to plank. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Exhale, pike the hips up, keep the heels high. Good. And then inhale, extend yourself right back out into your high plank position. Exhale, pike. Inhale, slowly extend. Your feet are about hip width distance apart. Good. Let's go 10 seconds. Then you're going to drop down to the elbows. You're going to do the same thing on your elbows. It's 30 seconds. Then we're going to go back to the ab roller. In three, two, one. Elbows down, elbow, pike to plank. Pike the hips up, keep the heels high. Extend it out into your plank position. Good, everybody. Exhale, pike. Inhale, extend. You have 15 seconds and knees come down. You're going to grab your ab rollers. We're going to go back to that wheelbarrow sort of motion with your ab roller or your skateboard. If you've got one, you hold the skateboard going long ways, right? The way that the wheels are moving. In three, two, one. Knees down. Modified plank position. Scoot back just a little bit, mom. Good. Drop your hips. Drop your butt. Now just the hand shift forward. Just the hand shift back. As slowly as you're taking the hands out, bring it just as slow on the way in. Just the hands shift forward, good. Just the hands shift back. You guys have 45 seconds with this wheelbarrow, then we're gonna do that hand pike to plank for 30, elbow pike to plank for 30 again, then we're gonna get you seated, okay? You got it, keep the hips and the butt down, pull the belly button up and in, no archy dippy low back. 25 seconds here, you're in that high plank, hands on the floor or the mat, both feet on the plates or the sliders, we pike to plank. We're there in 15. Good. See if you can take the hands out a little bit further. Bring them in a little slower. Keep the shoulders down. In 10. It's a pike to plank. In 5. Hands and toes, everybody. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Put the roller to the side. Feet on those sliders. It's a pike to plank. 30 seconds on the hands. Ready? 3, 2, and from the belly button, pike the hips up. Make a mountain with your body and then slowly extend it right back out into your plank. Good. In 15, you're going to do the same thing you're doing now on your elbows. It's an elbow pike to plank. We're there in 10. Good. Elbows come down. Same thing you're doing now on the elbows. In four, three, two, elbows down. 30 seconds, elbow pike to plank. Good, exhale, pike. Inhale, extend. You guys are gonna take a seat next. We're gonna do a little like cross twist crunch seated on your butt. We're gonna use the elbows to sort of twist. Kind of like a 
a bicycle crunch, sort of, but you're in a seated position, okay? We're there in eights. On your butt, speed out in front of you. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, sit on your butt, heels out in front of you. You're gonna lean back, okay? Just a little bit, not too much. And then you're gonna sit up and twist, opposite elbow, opposite knee, lean back. And then sit up, twist, opposite elbow, opposite knee, lean back. We're not leaning back too much, right? But when you sit up, you're twisting opposite elbow to opposite knee. Alternating, keeping one heel on the ground at all times. And again, it's not just the elbows twisting, it's your waist twisting. 35 seconds of this, everybody, good. And then we're gonna go into your obliques. All right, you got it. Exhale, sit up and crunch. Inhale, lean back, good. Beautiful. In 15. Nice, everyone. In 10, you're gonna stack your left knee on top of your right knee. We're gonna go back to the ab roller or the skateboard. We're gonna do a twisted version of the wheelbarrow that we did in the beginning. Your knees are gonna point to the left side of the room. In three, two, one. So left knee stacks on top of the right knee, grab your ab roller. Good, sit on the side again, that's it. Good, stack your left knee on top of your right knee. Drop the hips, drop the butt. Now just the hands shift forward, you can see her hips stay still. Same thing as the wheelbarrow, guys, everybody. But the knees are pointed to one direction. Just the hands shift forward slow just the hand shift back slow. So we're targeting that right waist with your left knee stacked on top of your right knee, right? You've got a skateboard, if you've got that, you can use that. 40 seconds, take the hands out a little bit further if you can, good. Your sliders are gonna go underneath both feet next. You're gonna be in teaser sort of feet, okay? So your right foot's gonna cross over your left foot, but you're gonna be on your elbow. So we're gonna hold a twisted foot elbow plank. We're gonna hold for 15, shift the shoulders back and forth for 15, hold for 15, shift the shoulders back and forth for 15. We're there in 10. Nice, nice, in eight. Good, you'll be in an elbow plank, right foot over left foot. We're just gonna hold a twisted foot elbow plank. In three, guys, two, one. Grab your sliders, right foot over the left foot. Sides of the feet, just like you're about to do teaser, but you're gonna be on your elbow. Okay, right foot over left foot, sides of feet, elbows down, just hold it. Good. And make sure that you're not dipping down into that left waist. So slightly elevate that left hip up so you're not, your right hip is not dipping too far down towards the floor. Now in five, you're just going to shift your shoulders back, shift your shoulders forward. Four, three, two, shift the shoulders back, shift the shoulders forward. Let's try to move those sliders if you can. Yes, Hilda. Shift the shoulders back, shift the shoulders forward. So those sliders, those feet are moving, sides of feet. That's it, in four, you're gonna hold the twisted foot elbow plank again. Three, two, hold your twisted foot elbow plank. Try to get more on the sides of the feet, but square the shoulders, slightly lift that left hip up. Yes, in five, we're gonna go back to the shift of the shoulders, back and forth, ready? In four, three, two, shift the shoulders back, shift the shoulders forward, that's it. You're gonna be on your backs, everybody. Your right knee stacks on top of your left knee like so. Head in your hands, we're just gonna go to a twisted waist crunch. We're there in five. Knees will stack, right knee on top of left knee. Four, three, two, and one. We're still working that right waist. So stack your right knee on top of your left knee, hands behind the head. You're just gonna crunch straight up and down. Crunch straight up and down, that's it. Straight up crunch and down. Really getting into that right waist. Straight up crunch it and then lower. Straight up crunch and then lower. Good, everybody. Chin is off the chest, heart is open, 45 seconds with this twisted crunch. And then we're gonna take it into that left oblique, starting with that twisted wheel. This time, your right knee will stack on top of your left knee. Ab roller or skateboard in your hands. We're there in 25 seconds. Good, exhale, sit up and crunch, beautiful. Inhale, lower. That's it, in 15, it's a twisted super crunch. Right knee on top of left knee, hands on the ab wheel or the skateboard. Just the hands shift forward, just the hands shift back. We're there in five, guys. Four, three, two.
two and one. Grab that ab wheel. Good. This time right knee on top of left knee. So we're working the left waist. Drop the hips, drop the butt. Keep this still. And now just the hands shift forward, just the hands shift back. Really push down through the heels of your hands. You're also getting a lot of lat work here, okay? You may need to scoot back a little bit, Mom, so you can take those hands out with the carpet. Mm -hmm. Just the hands shift forward, push down, just the hands shift back. So work, especially with the ab wheel as opposed to the reformer, the work is really coming in, okay? And it's coming in slow. 30 seconds, elbows come down, left foot crosses over the right foot. So you'll be in teaser feet on the elbows. We're just gonna hold a cross foot elbow plank. We're there in 20. Elbows down, left foot over right foot. You're just gonna hold that cross foot elbow plank. We're there in eight. Good, take it out a little further right here at the end, that's it. In six, elbows down, left foot over right foot. In four, three, two, one. Beautiful job, everybody. Elbows down, put that roller away for now for a while. Left foot over right foot. However you want to get into it. Sides of the feet. Just hold it. Ready? Three, two, just hold it. Good. Make sure your left hip isn't dipping too far down towards the floor. So slightly lift that right hip up. In five, you're going to shift the shoulders back and then shift the shoulders forward. Ready? Four, three, two, let the plates move. Shift the shoulders back and then shift the shoulders over the elbows. Shift the shoulders behind the elbows and over the elbows. That's it. Five seconds, you hold it. Four, three, two, hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Good, good. You got one more shift in 10, and we're on your back for that twisted crunch. The opening ab section that we did before your obliques, we are gonna close with that same thing, okay? Three, two, shift the shoulders back, shift the shoulders forward, nice. You're gonna stack your left knee on top of your right knee on your back, we're going twisted knee crunch ends. Twisted knee crunches. We're there in five. Left knee on top of right knee, head in your hands. In four, three, two, and one. On your backs, everybody. Stack your left knee on top of your right knee. And you're just gonna crunch. Left waist is up in the air, right? That's where you're working. Straight up, straight down, good. Up next, you're gonna grab your medium heavy band, okay? You're gonna put it around your thighs, a couple inches above the knees. You'll stay on your back, and the way we're gonna warm up the legs today is we're gonna go bridges, okay? With the band, all right? So the band will be stretched out pretty much the whole time. And you're just gonna thrust the hips up to the ceiling and then lower all the way down, tap the butt to the floor, okay? So band will go above the knees, roll all the way over onto your back. So we're there in 25 seconds. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower, good. Exhale, crunch straight up. Inhale, lower, last 15. Beautiful, last 10. Band over the knees, on your back. Bridges to warm up both the right and the left leg. We're only doing these bridges once. In three, two, one. Grab your circular band, put it over your knees. A couple inches above the knees. Feet on the floor. Good. And you wanna have that band just slightly stretched out, right? Hip width distance, not too far. And now lift the booty up. Squeeze the butt, lower all the way down. Lift up, squeeze the butt, lower all the way down. Don't worry, this is gonna heat up in a second. Lift the butt and then lower. Just get it warmed up, nothing crazy. Lift up and then lower. Good, lift up and then lower. You got 25 seconds, you're gonna do the same up and down, but your feet are gonna come together. It's gonna make it harder in a very different way, okay? And you'll see, we're gonna play with the band, but First, we're just gonna do the all the way up, all the way down with your feet totally touching. We're there in eight. Feet come together, same bridge that you're doing now. In five, four, three, two, and one. So touch your feet together and it's up and down, squeeze. You won't be able to come up as high with your feet together, right? You won't be able to come up as high, but just make sure you're squeezing your butt cheeks yourself, right? Good, in 15 seconds, we're gonna add a knee separation. So you'll come up, knees out, knees back in, come down. Get ready for that. In 10, you come up, knees separate, you stretch the band, knees come back together to where they are now, and then you come all the way down. In three, two, let's go. Up, separate the knees, close the knees, and then come down. Good, up, separate, close, come down. Beautiful. Up. Separate, 
close, and then come down. Yes, 25 seconds, everybody. Then the left foot is going to stay grounded on the floor. Right foot's going to go straight up over your hip to the ceiling. We're just going to pulse the left hip for 15, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side for 15. Again, we're only doing this once. In 10, left foot on the floor, right foot up to the ceiling. You're just going to do little pulses with that left hip. We're there in five, four, three, two. Left foot on the floor, right foot up. Ready, three, two, pulse it. Up a little, down a little. Up a little, down a little, just a little. Up a little, down a little, good. 10 seconds, you switch, right foot down, left foot up. Then we're gonna isolate that right leg first. In four, right foot down, left foot up. Three, two, put your right foot down. Now pulse, up a little, down a little. Up a little, down a little. Keep the band above your knees. Mom, you're gonna roll around to your left side body. Feet are gonna stay together, knees slightly in front of you. We're going clamshells for that right leg. In three, two, one. Roll lower around to your left side body. Head on your bicep, head on your hands. Keep your feet together. Now open the top right knee. Squeeze the side of your butt. Close. We're just isolating that right leg now. Open, squeeze, close. Open, squeeze the side of your right leg. Close. Open, squeeze it. Close it. Good. Open, squeeze. And close. You have 20 seconds and we're gonna hold the top knee open and we're just gonna go little pulses. Little pulse down, little pulse up, that's it. In 15, keeping the feet together, really keeping that band stretched out. In eight, you hold the right knee open, it's down a little, up a little, clamshell pulses. In five, four, three, two, hold it open, now down a little, up a little. Very small, barely visible to the eye. Down a little, up a little, open, yes. In eight, you go back to closing and opening. In six, back to the full range, clamshell. Four, three, two, back to full range, close. And then open, squeeze. Close it, open and squeeze it. Yes, everybody, you got 35 seconds and we got one more pulse. Then we're gonna go straight leg, top right leg will go straight. And we're gonna go circles for 30, up and down 30, circles the other way for 30, then straight up and down for 30, okay? Then we're gonna stand up with the band around the ankles. You have 15 seconds, we hold the top knee open, we're going down a little, up a little, pulses, try to keep your feet together, hips stacked, whatever sideline position feels good for you, if you have your knees more slightly in front of you or more in line with the hips. In three, two, hold the top knee open, now down a little, up a little. Down a little, up a little. Down a little, up a little, that's it. Eight seconds, and that right leg is gonna go totally straight. You're gonna point the right toes down towards the floor slightly. It's a straight leg lift. In three, two, one. Take that bottom knee more forward in front of you, yep. And now go straight up and down with that top right leg. You can sickle the foot slightly so the toes are pointing down towards the floor, getting a little bit more of the outer thigh on the right side. Up and down, good. 15 seconds, you hold it up and we're gonna make circles. Remember what direction you're making the first set of circles, because the second set of circles, you'll wanna go the other way. In eight, you hold it up, first set of circles. In six, five, four, three, two, hold it up and now circle. Circle, as big as you need to make them to feel it, but not so big that the top right hip is opening up to the ceiling. Circle, circle, circle. Good, 15 seconds, you're gonna go back to straight up, straight down, with the right toes still pointing down towards the floor. We're there in 10, guys. Nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, sickle the foot down, and now straight up, straight down. Straight up, straight down, good, straight up, straight down. You have 20 seconds, remember, I told you to remember the direction, right? You're gonna go back to those circles one more time. You're just gonna take it to the other direction. Then we're gonna grab one of your sliders. The band will go down to your ankles and we're gonna go runner's lunge for that right side. We're there in five, guys. Other direction with those circles. In four, three, two, hold it up. Now other way with those circles. Good, other direction. 25 seconds, band goes to your ankles. Since we're working the right leg, the right foot is gonna be forward. Left toes will be back on the plate. You'll sit into a lunge on the right side. It's a heavy push. You'll kick and push the left leg out. 
you'll bend the left knee in. Runner's lunge, we're there in eight. One plate, one slider, band on your ankle, stand up. In four, three, two, and one, awesome. So standing, right foot forward, because we're working the right leg. Band near your ankles, left toes on the plate. So you're gonna sit right. into a right, no, I want you to go this way. Okay. Left, yep. left, foot is left foot is back, right oh. foot is forward. Okay. Yep, so sit low onto the right side, guys. That stays solid. The right side is working. You kick and push that left leg out slow. You bend that left knee in slow. So you're really stretching the band out, right? Kick and push the left leg out. Really resist the urge of the band just to kind of slap back in, right? Nice and slow, ground down through the whole right foot. Your right knee is solid over your right ankle. Right knee tracks over the middle toe. Slight pitch forward with the upper body. Even though the left leg is moving, it's your right leg that's working. Kick and push it out. And then slowly bend it in. Out slow. In slow. Good. You guys have 15 seconds, so we kick it back. We hold it back 90-90. You're just gonna go little dips, okay? Barely visible to the eye. I want them small, keeping the band tight. 90, 90 knees, body becomes a little bit more upright. We're there in three, two, 90, 90. Dip it down a little, lift it up a little. Dip it down a little, solid right foot, lift it up a little. Good, dip it down a little, lift it up a little, that's it. 15 seconds, you hinge forward again. You're gonna go back to the full range of motion, runner's lunge. We're there in 10, can you get a little lower? Yes, and if the band starts to slide up, just reset it back to the ankles. In five, back to the runner's lunge, full range, four, three, two, hinge forward. Now kick and push the left leg out, bend your left knee in. Good, out slow, guys, in slow. You have 20 seconds. Good. Or not 20 seconds, you have 45 seconds, excuse me. Then we got one more set of dips, then we're gonna finish the right leg in a skater, okay? Beautiful, kick and push the right leg out slow, or the left leg out slow, bend the left knee in slow. Make sure you're not set up on a tight rope, so have that left foot just slightly out to the left a little bit, good. 20 seconds. 90, 90, we go little dips to finish off this runner's lunge. And all you have to do, guys, is pivot to your left. Right leg stays in a lunge, left leg kicks. It's a skater. In five, little 90, 90 knee dips. In four, three, two, 90, 90, body upright, down a little, up a little dips. Down a little, up a little, good. Down a little, up a little. All you gotta do is pivot to the left. Right foot stays solid, right leg stays in a squat hold, left leg kicks out, left knee bends in, skater everybody. We're there in 10, nine, eight, down a little, up a little, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn to your left, good. Right foot stays solid, left foot is on the plate, sit low on the right, and now kick and push the left leg out and then bend the left knee in as slow as you can go. Especially on the way in, because the band just wants to come back to its original shape, right? You can be on the tippy toes of the left foot, or I like to be more on a flat foot. It's up to you. Out slow, in slow. And yes, most of the weight is over to the right leg, but you'll feel it a little bit more in your outer thigh if you shift your weight down center and you keep your hips still right there especially as you bring the left knee back in. Out for a slow four count. In for a slow four count. Good, 45 seconds and the weight is very even between both sides. You keep the band stretched out. We're just gonna go full range of motion squats all the way down, all the way up, just to get a little break for your back. Then we're gonna go back to the skater. You have another 30 seconds here. Keep the chest up, eyes up, heads up, weight back in the heels. Good, feet will have even amounts of weight. Just full range of motion squats. Think about what that is, right? Just normal squats, you just have a band on your ankles, that's it. In 15, normal squats. In 10, good, weight even, in five, 
go all the way down, all the way up. Four, three, two, weight is even. Just normal squat. All the way down, all the way up. Squeeze the butt. All the way down, all the way up. You got 20 seconds, everybody. Then your last minute of your right leg, we spend in that skater. Just one more minute in that skater. We're there in 15. Then we're gonna go to your arms. Then we'll go to your left leg. And then we got that ab section that we did at the beginning of class. That's how we're gonna finish class, okay? In five. Back to the skate. Four, three, two, sit low. Keep the weight centered. But yes, of course, most of the weight in the right leg. Kick and push that left leg out, bend that left knee in. Good. 50 seconds, everybody. Then you wanna have one heavy dumbbell or two light or two medium dumbbells in one hand. So we're gonna go into a one arm upright row like this on the right side, okay? So I'd say somewhere around 12, 10, eight pound. It's just gonna be in your right hand. Looks like this, one arm upright row right side. We're there in 20 seconds. Heavyish dumbbell right hand upright row. We're there in 15. Can you sit a little lower? Can you kick a little slower? Good. Last 10, everybody. Nine. Good. Eight. One medium to heavy dumbbell in that right hand. We're there in six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get rid of your band. Get rid of your slider for now. So mom, I would say maybe a 10, right, for upright row. Good. Palm is going to face your body. Slight bend in the knees, okay? Just an upright row on that right side. So the elbow is in line with the shoulder. And then you come down. Keeping that right wrist straight and strong. Elbow up and down. Elbow up and down. Good. In 15 seconds, you're going to add three pulses at the top. Then come all the way down, all the way up. Three pulses at the top. All the way down, all the way up. Ready? In five. You add three little pulses at the top. Four, three, two. Come all the way up. It's down a little, up a little one. Down a little, up a little two. Down a little, up a little three. And then all the way down, all the way up. Now, as the elbow goes up, the shoulder stays down. Okay? If your right shoulder is creeping up to the ear, no. Right? Again, three pulses at the top. Then all the way down, all the way up. Good. You guys got eight seconds, and we're just going to hold it up. Seven. Just hold it up in four. Three, two. Hold it up. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. Five seconds. You're just going full range, all the way down, all the way up. That's it. In four, three, two, full range, all the way down, all the way up. That's it. You can either keep this heavy dumbbell, or maybe you need to go even heavier. Left foot is going to be forward, right toes back. Okay, You're just going to be in like a little bit of a lunge stance. One arm row on that right side, okay? We're there in five. One arm row, right side. Four, three, two, one. Have your left foot forward, right toes back. Palm faces the left side of the room. You're just going to row, okay? Row it up, squeeze the back, and then extend it down. Good. Row it up, squeeze, extend it. Row it up, squeeze, extend that. Squeeze at the top is very important. We're going to do the same thing that we did in that upright row. So in 10 seconds, you're going to go three pulses, all the way down, all the way up. Three pulses, all the way down, all the way up. Get ready for that. In four, three, two, hold it up. It's one pulse, two pulse, three pulse, then all the way down, all the way up. One pulse squeeze, one pulse squeeze, one pulse squeeze, all the way down, all the way up. Good. Yes, everybody. Beautiful. 15 seconds of this, and you're just going to hold it up at the top. We'll do some triceps, then we'll go into your left arm, and then your left leg. In five, you hold it up at the top. In four, three, two, hold it up at the top. Big squeeze in the lat on the right side. Good. Squeeze it up a little bit higher. You got four. We go just to the row only. Three, two, all the way down, all the way up, just the row. Now, you might need to go way lighter for tricep kickbacks on both sides, okay? Light to medium dumbbells looks like this. You're just going to do a tricep kickback, okay? Thumbs up, palms in, tricep kickback. In five, light to medium dumbbells. Four, three, two, and one. Drop that one heavy, but keep it nearby. Grab your light to medium dumbbells. I'd say three, five, something like that. Maybe uh, wrist weights and some weights, whatever works for you. 
little bend in the knees, keep the elbows pinned in. Just the full extension, but keep the elbows like totally still at your side body. Thumbs up, palms in, bend, extend, and squeeze. We're here for a bit, so just hang in there. Now in 15 seconds, the arms are gonna go straight. You're gonna give me a straight arm pulse for 30 seconds, and we're gonna make circles for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna be in your left arm, okay? In five, arms go straight, they stay straight. Four, three, two, arms straight, and now pulse it up and down. Up and down, you can always drop the weights for this too if you need to. Just make sure that your shoulder heads aren't rounding over, collarbone is open, go as light with these weights as you need to. In 15, you're gonna hold it up. You're gonna make little circles one direction for 15, little circles the other direction for 15. Get ready, in 10, you hold it up, little circles one direction. In five, four, three, two, hold it up and now make little circles. Any direction to start, because we're gonna go the other way. Good, good, little circles. 10, you go the other way. Get ready, get ready. Not yet, not yet, I told you it was a long time right here. In five, you go the other way with your circles, guys. Four, three, two, other way with those circles. Make them, make them small. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 10 seconds, you grab that one heavy-ish dumbbell, right? The same one that you did for the right side. We're gonna go left side, upright row. We're there in five. Standing tall, four, three, two, one. Good. So grab that heavy-ish dumbbell, left hand. Palm faces your body, standing up. You're just gonna go for that upright row first. So stand all the way up, upright row. Good. And then drop it down. Upright row. Drop it down. Good. Elbow stops in line with the shoulder. Wrist is straight and strong. Come on down. Good. In 15, you add those three pulses at the top, all the way down, all the way up. Three pulses at the top, all the way down, all the way up. In five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Now one pulse. Two pulse, three pulse, and all the way down, all the way up. One pulse, keep the left shoulder down. Two pulse, three pulse, all the way down, all the way up. Keep going. 15 seconds left of this, and you're just gonna hold it up at the top. Good, one pulse, two pulse, three pulse, all the way down, all the way up. And again, one pulse, two pulse, three pulse, all the way up, all the way down. In five, you hold it up, guys. Four, three, two, hold it up. Shoulder down away from the ear. Yes, a little bit in the knees, that's it. Five seconds, you go back to just the upright row. Four, guys, three, two, all the way down, all the way up, just the upright row. Mm -hmm. And then up next, right foot's gonna be forward, left toes back, just a little lunge position. Thumb up, palm faces the right side of the room or whatever side you're facing if you're mirroring us. We're gonna go one arm row on that left side. We're there in five, one arm row on the left. In four, three, two, let's go. Right foot forward, left toes back and row, squeeze the back and the lats and then extend. Row it up, squeeze and then extend it. Row it up, squeeze and then extend. Now in 15 seconds, you're gonna add three pulses to this and you come all the way down, all the way up. Three pulses, all the way down, all the way up. In 10, three pulses. Good, in five, four, three, two, Hold it up, it's one pulse, two pulse, three pulse, then all the way down, all the way up. One pulse, two pulse, three pulse, all the way down, all the way up. Keep going, 20 seconds, you hold this up. Good, in 15, we hold this up. In 10. Good, guys, in five, you hold this up, four. Three, two, just hold it up for 10. Then you're just gonna do the row, last 20 seconds of arms, and then we're in your left leg. In five, just the row. Four, three, two, just the row. Down, and then squeeze it up. You start with the band over your knees. Remember, we're not doing those bridges again. That was a two-sided situation. You're gonna be in a sideline position on your right side body. We're working the left leg, starting with those clamshells. Feet stay together, left knee opens, left knee closes. We're there in three, two, one, good. Take the band, place it above the knees, head in the hand, head on the bicep. Work in the left leg, feet stay together. Left knee is gonna open and close. Ready in three, two, let's go. Open, squeeze the top left knee, close. Open, squeeze the top left knee, close. Try to keep the hips set. Band is always pretty tight. Open, squeeze, and 
and then float. Open C, float. Now in 25 seconds, you're going to hold it open. We're just going to pulse that down a little, up a little. Good. Open C, bend and float. So in 15. Good. In 10, you hold it open. Tiny pulses, barely visible to the eye. In four, three, two, hold it open. Now it's down a little, up a little. Down a little, up a little. Squeeze. Down a little, up a little. Good, everybody. Five seconds. You go back to the full range. In four, three, two, full range. Down and then squeeze it open. Good. Down, close, squeeze it open. You have one more pulse in 30 seconds. You hold it open. It's down a little, up a little. Keep those feet together. In 25. You open it and you go down a little, up a little. In 15. Nice, nice. In 10. Down a little, up a little. Pulsing in 5. Four, three, two, hold it open. Now down a little, up a little, down a little, up a little. You're going to bend that bottom right knee more forward in line with your hip. Top left leg goes straight, stays straight. You're going to sickle the left foot, and we're going to go straight up and down with that left leg. Ready? In four, three, two, one. So left leg is straight. Bend that bottom knee right, and up, lift that top left leg up and down. Mm -hmm. Up and down without letting that band get loose. Up and down. You got 15 seconds and you're going to make circles. Big enough circles that you feel, okay? Just remember the direction of this first set of circles because you'll want to go the other direction when we hit it again, okay? We're there in five. Circles big enough that you feel. In four, but that's it. You're not opening the left hip up to the ceiling, right? Three, two, hold it up, and now circle. Big enough that you feel. Circle, circle, circle. Good. 20 seconds, you're going to go back to the straight up and downs, up and down, left foot again is kind of sickled, okay, left toes sort of point down towards the floor, in 10, back to the ups and the downs, in 8, good, in 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Good, 25 seconds. Remember the direction you went with those circles because we're going to go the other way. Last 30 seconds in this sideline position, then we're going to be in that runner's lunge for your left side. In 15, you circle the other way. We're there in 10. Nice, everyone. In five, circles the other way. In four, three, two, up, and now circle the other way. Other way. Good, good, good. You're going to stand up. You're going to put the band near your ankles, okay? Just one slider, and it's going to go on your non-working leg foot, your right foot. Left foot stays forward like so. Right toes back on your slider. You're going to hold a lunge on the left as you kick and push with the right leg. It's a runner's lunge for the left side. We're there in three, two, one. So put that band down near your ankles, flatten it out so you have no creases. Right tippy toes have the slider facing the front. Left foot stays in a lunge because that's our working leg. And now kick and push your right leg out slow. And then bend your right knee in slow. Good. Make sure you're not set up on a tight rope like this, right? So if you've got a mirror, you can kind of see a little bit better if you don't. If you don't have a mirror, you'll just feel really off balance and you'll know, okay? Kick and push that right leg out slow and then resist on the way in. Try not to let that band just kind of slap back into its shape. 35 seconds, you're going to hold the right knee back so that it's underneath of your hip. Body will go more to an upright position and you're just going to go little dips. We're there in 20. Good. Really important, this runner's lunge, in order for you to feel it in the back of your left leg more, you got to really push down through that front left heel, okay? But you also want to think about pushing down through the left big toe, left little toe as well. 
In five, 90, 90 little dips, barely visible to the eye. Four, three, two, 90, 90, body upright. Now down a little, up a little. Down a little, up a little, that's it. Down a little, up a little. You feel the stretch of the band, you feel the grounding in your left foot. In 15 seconds, you pitch your weight forward again. You go back to full range of motion, runner's lunge. We're there in 10. Down a little, up a little, make it small. Squeeze your left butt at the top. In five, back to full range. In four, three, two, slightly pitch forward. Bend your right knee in slow. Take your right leg out slow. Good, bend it in and then take it out. You got another 45 seconds of full range and we got one more set of those dips. We'll finish your left leg in that skater. And then we've got that finishing core and then you're out the door. The same core that we started class with, we're gonna do the same thing again for the second set. Good, Hillis, that's where you should feel it. Nice. 30 seconds. It's 90, 90 knee dips. Good, in 20. 90, 90, we dip it down a little, we lift it up a little. And for the next workout I take, guys, I want you guys to think about getting a Pilates ring. So we're going to start incorporating that in our workouts because they are really fun. In five, 90, 90 knee dips. In four, three, two, 90, 90, body upright. It's down a little, up a little. Down a little, up a little. Good. All you got to do is pivot to the right. Working left leg stays in a squat and you're just going to kick and push the right leg out slow and then bend the right knee in slow. We're going skating. Last three minutes of your left leg. We're there in eight, skater. In seven, keep the plate or the slider where it's at. Good, in five, you turn to your right, four, three, two, one. Solid left foot. Right foot can be flat or you can be more on the ball of the foot, it's up to you. And now go, kick and push the right leg out slow, stay low on the left side, bend your right knee in slow. Yes, of course, most of the weight is gonna be on the left side, but if you shift your weight center a little bit and you keep it there, especially as the right leg bends back in, you might feel it more on that left outer thigh, not just the quad, okay? Out and then resist on the way in. You have 60 seconds and the weight is very even between both sides. We're just going normal squats, that's it. Normal squat, all the way down, all the way up, just normal squats. Chest up, eyes up, heads up, little tuck of the tailbone in 45 seconds. Both knees bend, you go all the way down, all the way up, full range of motion, squat. Nice, you got another 30 seconds of full range of motion here, out slow, good, in slow, resist it, resist it, resist it. In 20. Full range of motion squats. We'll give you a little break for your back, a little break for your quad on that left side. We're there in 10. Flat feet, weight even, all the way down, all the way up, squat. In five, four, three, two, weight even. All the way down, squat. All the way up, stand. Good. If you need a little low back release, just thrust your hips forward at the top, okay? You have 20 seconds in your final minute of legs. You're gonna spend in that last minute of skater. And then we're gonna finish class just like how we started class. Ab roller, plank, ab roller, plank, V sit, twist, crunch, see you later, okay? In five, last minute of your legs, everybody. In four, three, two, sit low, and now kick and push your right leg out, resist on the way in. So you need to grab your slider, your sliders, both of them, you need to have your ab roller or your skateboard, if that's what you're using, you need to have that ready, okay? We're gonna go back into that wheelbarrow with your ab roller or your skateboard. Knees down, just the hand shift forward, just the hand shift back. Depending on what surface you're working on, if your knees really hurt, you might wanna put a mat on top of your carpet or definitely probably a mat on your hard floor. In 30, five, Nice, resist, resist, resist on the way in. And if you ever want the skater and the runner's lunge to be harder here, you gotta get bands that are even heavier or bands that are even thicker, okay? You guys got eight, six, 
seven, ab roller, wheelbarrow, in five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's face this way next. So knees are down. Are your knees okay or do you need padding? Everyone okay? Okay. Drop the hips, drop your butt. Get a good grip on the ab wheel or the skateboard if you're using it. If you're using a skateboard, you have to go to the direction of the wheels, right? Drop your hips, drop your butt, just a hand shift forward slow, just a hand shift back slow. This is last, but this is also center core if you're thinking about pulling your belly button up and in. You got one minute here, one minute in a certain plank combination, one minute here, one minute in a certain plank combination. Then we're gonna do that sit, twist, crunch, and you guys are done for the day, okay? Shoulders down away from the ears. When you take the hands out, pause for a second, then bring them back in as slow as you took them out. 30 seconds, hands and feet. We go pike to plank 30 on the hands, pike to plank 30 on the elbow in 20. Good, just those hands, forward and back. Notice the straight long line from head to knees. You're in a modified plank position. In 10, you're on your hands and toes. We go pike to plank. We're there in five, guys. Four, three, two, and one. Hands and toes, pike to plank, 30 seconds. Feet a little bit, maybe wider this time if you want. Ready, go. Exhale, slowly pike from the belly button, not the hip flexors. Inhale, slowly extend. So my pikes always look very small because I'm trying to make them small so they come from my abs. Because if I make them too big, it's more shoulders, more hip flexors, right? So think about that, everybody. 10 seconds, you do the same thing, but you're on your elbows. It'll get even smaller when you're on the elbows, okay? Elbow pike to plank for 30. We're there in five, four, three, two, elbows down, pike to plank. Good, exhale, pike, inhale, slowly extend it. You're gonna go back to the ab wheel one more time, everybody. Plank one more time, then we get to sit on our butts to finish, and then you guys are done. Okay, 15 seconds, back to the wheelbarrow with your ab roller or your skateboard, whatever you're working with this afternoon, this evening, this morning, whatever day it is. In five, knees down, hands up in four, three, two, and one, back to the wheel. Good, you feel unfinished, Tilly? Whoop. Good. Drop your hips, drop your butt, maybe scoot back if you're working on carpet and you've got like a floor starting, you don't want your ab roller to like and make a bump. You know what I mean? You want a nice smooth surface. Pushing down through the heels of your hands. That's how we engage the lats. Shoulders stay down away from the ears. 45 seconds. We go back to the plank with your slider. Pike to plank on the hands. Pike to plank on the elbows. Then you're in a little V-sit twist crunch and we are done, everybody. Good. Take the hands out a little further here at the end. You have 30 seconds. I know we don't use these ankle and wrist weights often, but just know that if you ever want to amp up any of these workouts, you can have the ankle weights on your ankles the whole time, and you can have the ankle weights or the wrist weights or whatever on your wrist the whole time, okay? The whole workout, even if that's not the center of our workout. In eight, seven, six, five, plank position, four, three, two, Let's go, pike to plank. Exhale, pike the hips up, keep the heels high. Inhale, slowly extend, good. Exhale, pike. Inhale, extend. 20 seconds, you're gonna do the same thing on your elbows, everybody. In 15, it gets to be even smaller than what you're doing now. In 10, pike to plank on the forearms. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Last 30 seconds of your plank, you got it, Hillis. Inhale, extend. Good. You're going to sit on your butt. Mom, you're going to face the screen. We're going to lean back, twist elbow to knee, lean back, twist opposite elbow to opposite knee. It's like a bicycle crunch sort of, but in a seated position. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. In eight, seven, heels on the ground, booty on the ground. Five, lean back just slightly, not a lot. As you sit up, you crunch opposite elbow to opposite knee. Yep, just like what we did in the beginning. Make sure you don't lean back too much, right? And there's always one foot on the floor, okay? And really twist with the waist. Opposite elbow, opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Good. 45 seconds, you guys are going to collapse onto your backs. And we're going to stretch down there for just a few minutes. Or less than a few minutes, really. Good. Lean back, twist right. Lean back, twist left. 
abs on fire. You have 30 seconds and you're gonna be on your back. You're gonna stretch your legs out long, you're gonna stretch your hands over your head, just like you're stretching in the morning when you wake up. We're there in 20. Yes, everybody, last 15. Good, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. Extend the arms over your head. We're there in five, four, one more twist. Three, two, one, relax. Ooh. Extend your legs, extend your arms over your head. Good. And now grab your left wrist with your right hand and take a little side stretch in this um, reclined position. And then go to the other side. And now take your first stretch. Take your left foot, cross it over your right knee. Hug your right thigh in towards your chest. Let your head, neck, and shoulders rest. Now in no way are we ever doing enough stretching, right? So take the time that you have now. Stretch while you're watching TV. Stretch while you're answering emails. Whatever it may be, you deserve it. Switch, other side, figure four. And you guys are all set with number 12. Again, think about getting a Pilates ring. We're going to start trying to incorporate that into our next workouts. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.